Okay, do you guys know, from now on, do you guys know what's going to be in three weeks? Three weeks. Do you guys know that it's only three weeks until summer comes, until our spring semester ends? Now, summer. We're talking about summer, and we're going to go to the river, beach, lake, and then it's also the time when most people would be enjoying the sun. But have you guys ever wondered that... Um, do you guys want to be like losing weight and be like all these good looking stars? <laughs> well, it seems impossible, but let me tell you guys, it, it's not possible as long as you know where to start. So now I'm going to show you, I'm going to share you the tips on how to lose weight. But first, I'm going to be talking about the importance of losing weight. The second topic, I'm going to be talking about the tips about food and nutrition in able to lose weight and then the third I'm going to be showing the basic understanding on how to use some of the gym equipments so we're going to go first on the importance of losing weight for me personally personal importance of losing weight is first is my genetic because my parents have always have um, cardiovascular disease and it just worries me that I'm going to have high blood pressure or some heart attack and because of my grandparents died from a heart attack and now it just worried me that when I grow old, I'm going to have the same suffering. And the second one is work. I've, um, I've got hired here at MJC to be a human anatomy supplemental instruction leader. So basically, I teach students how to be more productive in their studies. So that is me. Um, eight months ago, I was 168 pounds and I lose over 20 pounds, 142 pounds. And now I'm going to be sharing what are the tips that I did to lose over 20 pounds in less than a year. So the long, and also one importance of losing weight is the long-term effects. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, almost 40% of the US population adults are obese. These are obese. And then the other ones, overweight right here, is about 34%. So only the small population of United States is actually in the normal body range. It's according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and that is estimated in 2012 statistics. So after talking about the importance of food nutrition, we're going to go and talk about the um, importance of food and um, some tips on food and nutrition. According to one magazine of the dietary treatments for obesity and overweight, you need to decrease 500 to 1200 calorie intake per day. And how would you do that? Well, here are some tips that I did. First of all, gradually adopt healthier food choices. Don't go sudden make changes because sometimes you're just going to be tired and be like, screw it, I'm just going to be like eating foods, Netflix all day, Netflix eating pizza. So gradually adapt the healthier lifestyle so that you won't be like burnt out of doing it. Second, avoid all fast food at all costs. Did you know that McDonald's salad is actually 400 calories and their hamburger is just like 300? So their salad is actually have, has more calories than their normal cheeseburger. Try to avoid soda. Soda is packed with sugars and it would just cost you too much calories. Do not go to the supermarket when you're hungry because you are just going to buy junk foods because they're just so yummy. And drink a glass of two or a glass of water before eating, that way you would, be full, uh, you would be full easier. Try to avoid fats in meat, such as chicken skin. My sister said when cooking eggs, try to, uh, if you want to be more leaner, try to avoid the egg yolk, because egg yolk is mostly fat. Egg whites is mostly protein, and protein is what you want in eggs. And try to avoid midnight snack. Do not eat for hours prior to sleeping, and eat more fiber. Eat more fiber, that's my thing. That's my favorite thing because when you eat fiber, it makes you more, it makes you more fuller, and the satisfaction of your stomach would be longer, so that you would be avoid cravings. If when you eat more fiber, it would actually um, make you full for like five hours, and you won't have any cravings of anything. So that's a one-way good thing. The third one I'm going to be talking about is how to use some gym equipment. How many of you guys go to the gym and you like? What are these equipments? Like, how do you use this? So you just, you guys just go to the treadmill and run and see all those people doing all these fancy equipments. Well, now I'm going to be 
showing you the bench press. Take note, I am not a trainer or any expert at all, so if you guys want to know something more, I gave you a handout. And this handout is about bodybuilding. And they're going to show you some instructions. So this is one of the instructions at the bodybuilding. So first, I'm going to be showing you bench press, so mostly for guys. When, um, so lie back on the flat bench and grab the barbell using a medium weight grip. Medium weight grip is just something most guys do. There's a close and there's a medium. Medium is what they usually do for the pecs. Second is you lower it down while breathing in and then push it back exhaling or breathing out. And then you do those in according to repetitions that you want. So when you lower it down, breathe in, and then when you push it out, breathe out. And then there's a decline reverse crunch. This is for the lower abs. So when you're doing your abs, there's actually two works out. There's one for the upper and there's one for the lower. And usually the decline reverse crunch is for the lower abs and that's like the hardest ab workout that I've ever tried to do. So you just basically raise your legs. So again, there's a QR code right here. Using your smartphones, you could just scan it and it would re redirect you to the website for this equipment. So this is my workout. I tried to go to workout six times a day. I mean six times a week, not a day. <laughs> that would be hell. Uh, six times a week. And each day has specific varieties of workout. So again, I'm going to be, again, um, I just taught you guys how the tips on how to lose weight. First, I talk about the importance of losing weight. The second, I talk about the tips about food and nutrition. And then the third, I talk about how to use some of the gym equipment. Conclusion, when I go to the gym, this is what um, my, one of the gym's um, code says. Discipline leads to life and health. Actually, I really agree to that because everything is in moderation. As long as you have discipline, then you would be as successful in life because discipline is what everything it takes to be successful. Thank you. Thank you.